Two Minute Tutor here. What are we going to look at today? We're going to look at what is the purpose of a fan limit. Fan limits are generally found on a contraption that looks like this. This is an older style piece of equipment found on many older furnaces, usually 70 percenters, a few 80s and a very few 90 percent efficient furnaces for turning a fan on and off in the heat cycle found on a furnace. Now, you have to circulate air around the house in order to warm the house up, right? But we want to do it in a way in which the customer is going to be comfortable and in a way in which it's going to be efficient in order to uh, get rid of all the heat out of the furnace and to transfer it properly and with a lot of efficiency. So why do we delay the fan on? Why do we delay it off? What's its purpose? Well, first of all, what's its purpose? The purpose of a fan limit control is to delay the fan on, delay the fan off in the heating cycle. That's its job. But why do I want to delay the fan on? Why do I want to delay the fan off? Well, it's very simple reasons as to why we want to do that. First of all, customer comfort. When we bring the fan on, we don't want to blow cold air over somebody. We've all been in a restaurant or in a home or someplace in which the fan, when it came on for the furnace, maybe blew some cold air across and it was a while before you started to feel like there uh, was heat coming out of the ductwork. So we want to turn it on at a time when we have uh, infiltrated the ductwork with some warm air. So we let the burner come on, we let it warm the air in and around the heat exchanger. That warm air rises and it permeates the ductwork and that way when the fan does come on it blows warm air over the person or the occupants that are in the room. The second reason for delaying the fan on is as it says behind me, it says get rid of moisture. When the products of combustion come in contact with a cold heat exchanger, those products of combustion have steam in it and that steam is going to condensate and it's going to form water or moisture on the inside of the heat exchanger. If that water stays there for any length of time, it's eventually going to corrode the heat exchanger causing pinhole leaks and eventually the demise of the heat exchanger. Well, if we let the burner run for a little while before we turn the fan on, that will allow the burner or the, uh, the flames that are going on inside to re-evaporate any steam that is condensated on the inside of the heat exchanger. Once that is evaporated and once it's gone, the moisture is gone, then we can let the fan turn on and start sending heat into the house. Now, why do I want to shut the fan off in a delay? Many of you have probably noticed that when a burner shuts off on a furnace, the fan continues to run afterward for a short period of time. Well, why would I want to do that? Well, the purpose for delaying the fan off, as we have written here, is one, to get rid of the residual heat. I've paid for that gas. I paid for that heat. Why would I want to let it go up the chimney and try to warm the state of Minnesota during the wintertime? That's not going to happen. So I paid for it. It's mine. I want it. So let's keep the fan running and let's get the heat out of the furnace and into the house where it's usable and saves me money. Next one is, is I want to cool the, uh, humidif or the heat exchanger down uniformly. The heat exchanger is made out of metal and being metal it's going to have uh, the thermal coefficients of expansion. The metals are going to expand, they're going to contract. In order to stop work hardening and metal fatigue, we're going to cool that heat exchanger down in a uniform manner with air going across it, and that way the furnace will, the heat exchanger that is, will not crack, it uh, won't buckle, and then those seams on it are, are, are compromised. That's the fan limit control. That's the purpose of the fan limit. Just a little reminder, since this is older technology, the newer technology is now the PC board, sometimes called an integrated fan control board. This is how it's done now. In this particular situation, the temperature turned the fan on, the temperature turned the fan off. With our new PC boards, printed circuit boards that are found inside of our furnace, now the uh, fan is turned on by time and it's turned off by time. By the way, the fan on time is not adjustable. The fan off time is adjustable, usually anywhere from 90 to 240 seconds. Two minute tutor, out.